Good evening, good evening out there. Today I'm really, really happy and thankful to God for keeping me alive. And I'm happy for you to, I mean, if you've lived from January through June in trying times like this, you should be thankful to God. Let's make every day count and let's also do all that we can to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. The coronavirus is real and we got to stay alive. So follow the rules, the guidelines by the government and stay safe. Now today I'm going to be talking about handedness. That's actually a subject about which I'm quite passionate because I have about two experiences on handedness. Most of the topics I discuss are born out of personal experiences. Now this is how it goes. Whilst we were uh, children growing up, we had a friend who, for the purpose of this video, I'll call Doris. Now Doris was a very intelligent, at least above average uh, intelligent, young child, you know, but she was left-handed and all the while her parents kept trying to switch her or to convert her from using the left hand to using the right hand somewhere along the line her parents succeeded but we noticed that her academic performance began to decline uh, it was so bad that somewhere around uh, days two doris dropped out of school and by the time i saw doris again whilst i was in the university you know she had had a child out of wedlock never went back to school and a lot of things went wrong with her life now by the time i was in psychology class i noticed that this might have been related to handedness and this motivated me to carry out the research and from what i found out all of this problems with her academics could have been avoided if her parents had but let her use her left hand now there are different types of handedness we have um dexterity that's the use of the right hand the right hand yeah and then we have sinistrality sinistral people use the left hand and then ambidexterity ability to use both hands equally well or almost equally well for the left hand and the right hand now about 90 percent or over 90 percent of the world population are right-handed and it is not clear what is responsible for this um uh, the, uh, this situation you know there's a genetic side to it there's environmental side to it but that's not our you know focus today our focus today is actually switching a child from being left-handed to being right-handed and the only way we can get the points is this let me try to explain why we should leave children how they are now if a child is born left-handed let the child be left-handed if the child is born right-handed let the child be right-handed actually the issue of left and right-handedness is beyond what meets the eye it's, it's a, a phenomenon that is still not even completely understood by researchers and scientists out there so please i understand people switch uh, the hand of their children for several reasons cultural reasons you know people will say it's not it's not in our culture for a child to take something from an elder with the left hand uh, or to give something to an elder with the left hand or to even use the left hand uh, other people will tell you the left hand brings bad luck or hard luck and uh, you don't want the child having that you know and then others for religious reasons they feel like the left hand is not the favored hand and all of that please please and um, please I mean, I'm also a very cultural person. I like the old school, but only when it is right and when there are no negative consequences. For left-handedness and right-handedness, switching over from left-handed to right hand, there are serious consequences for a child who undergoes conversion from left hand to right hand. So let's not try to convert them in spite of our cultural and religious affiliations. Let's leave children to write with their hands with which they are born. As a matter of fact, this discrimination goes down even to our language. Can you believe someone that's left-handed, the, the right hand is called dextera, dexterity, while the left hand, you know, you using left hand, they are referred to as a sinistral, sinister. I mean, that's unfair. Let's stop the discrimination. Now, let's get into understanding this a bit more. Now, before us to understand uh, the complications of the left hand and the right hand and why we shouldn't switch, we'll try to explain briefly what our brains look like. Now, whichever hand we use is related to the size of the brain. Our brain is highly literalized. Our brain is asymmetrical. If you look at the picture of the brain, you'll see somewhat, a very somewhat clear division between the left brain and the right brain. However, their functions are quite specialized. Each side of the brain performs very specialized functions. The left side of the brain has its own functions. The right side of the brain has its own functions. Now, for us individuals that are right-handed, 
the functions of our right hand are being controlled by the left brain right hand left brain and for those people who are left-handed the functions of the left hand are being controlled by the right brain so if you're left-handed it goes with the right brain now language for this 90 percent of the right-handed population is controlled by the left brain you know and then for some of the uh, left brain individuals they have their language being controlled by the right side too now what happens when you switch a child from the left hand to the right hand is that you are overloading the non-dominant you know side of the brain you switch the child from the left hand formerly these functions are controlled by the right brain and you switch to the right hand so you're overloading the non-dominant side of the brain and while you're on the loading you know the dominant side of the brain research has also shown that when you switch a child and the child is eventually switched physically the brain does not switch completely some functions switch to the other side of the brain while some functions are retained now whilst the research was being carried out they found out that when a converted uh, right handers were writing there was some activation in the, the side of the brain you know the, the left hand right side of the brain there was some activation on the right side of the brain that was you know trying to inhibit unwanted left hand functions you know this inhibition uh, overloading on the loading creates some confusion in the brain like I said it's quite complex we're still trying to understand it but there are consequences there are consequences related to this hand switching so it is better not to even try now there are two levels of consequences related with switching uh, hand from the left hand to the right hand the first i'll refer to as the primary consequences the first we have is memory deficits when you switch a child from the left hand to the right hand the child will experience memory deficits especially when it has to do with handwriting you know handwriting is a very complex function even though most of us do not know it involves you know a lot of different areas of the brain are involved in handwriting so when we switch a child from being left-handed to right-handed the child will have memory deficits he can remember especially when it comes to learning things he have learned he can remember very well you also have attention deficits a child who might have what we call attention deficit hyperactivity disorder so their deficit in attention and also some of them tend to be hyperactive you don't want a child to have that so let's not switch our children there will also be spatial disorientation the right brain is in charge of uh, spatial orientation when you do that switching your child will be disoriented the, the confusion between which hand is the left hand which one is the right hand and all of that and so we don't want that for our children there's also stuttering and stammering your child might begin to stutter and stammer if you switch a child from being left-handed to being right-handed i mean the child will have uh, learning disabilities especially disabilities that are related to speech you know that are related to um reading and spelling like dyslexia so actually people have been looking what is the cause of uh, dyslexia one of the cause has been by research as research has found that is switching your child from being left-handed to being right-handed we shouldn't do that there will also be problems with fine motor skills so especially it's, it's displayed by their handwriting so their handwriting will be called dysgraphia they can't write properly they can't write neatly and missed other you know consequences so please let's not switch our children from being left-handed to being right-handed we cause too much problems for them now there will also be secondary consequences whilst you're making the child you know just like i said there are so many methods used in this switching while some people will use force infliction of pain they'll tie the hand to maybe to a chair you, you beat the child all the time they use abusive words to stop the child from using the left hand uh, others will use uh, you know cohesion cohesion while others will use uh, 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 trying to convince them sometimes uh, trying to buy them nice gifts and then maybe putting something beautiful in their left hand and then compelling them to write with the right hand to keep that whatever method you use your child will still have problems but the, the, the child will have self-esteem problems especially when you use the coercive method so the child feels like I'm not good enough the child will have poor self-esteem the child will lack self-confidence you know the child will also Bedwet. I mean, people bedwetting into late adolescence and, uh, you know, early adulthood has been linked to this switching from the left hand to the right hand. Your child might become socially withdrawn or an introvert. He won't mix up with people, he won't speak to people, and this can lead to depression and all the other um, well, even bigger consequences your child will be withdrawn okay so we shouldn't switch our children from left hand to right hand let them be 
when you switch the child from the left hand to the right hand also, the child will be, um, will have uh, behavioral problems. A lot of behavioral problems will pop up. The child will have uh, personality issues. There will be issues of insecurity. The child doesn't feel secure, you know. And there will be contrariness or rebellion. The child is trying to fight back somehow. And this is what, this is what gives rise to behavioral disorders and all of this. So please, parents, we, like I said, this is just beyond us. The child did not just wake up one day and decide to be either left-handed or right-handed. It's, it's connected to their brain and to their, you know, Make up. They, they were born that way. Let them be that way. Now, this is because if you switch them, it would have been okay to switch them if there were no negative consequences. But there are consequences. And maybe this is an opportunity for me to speak to parents. We cannot afford to parent the way our parents used to do in the old days. Now we have a lot of resources at our disposal. Whatever situation we are faced with with our children, let's try to do some research, find out more about the situation, not just take actions blindly and ignorantly. Imagine the pain that many people have been caused. As a matter of fact, a child really close to me that I could call my child, she was bedwetting into, you know, late adolescence, and I was really wondering what could the problem be until one day whilst we're having a discussion she told me i used to be left-handed and my parents forced me into being right-handed and then i knew where this was coming from even after years of being switched or converted right-handers there's, there's still that confusion in the brain there's no complete conversion from being a, you know from the right brain to the left brain you so there's that confusion let's not do this to our children you know we are going to talk about more of these uh, learning disabilities in details in the future and if you have questions to ask please leave them in the comment section or you could email me at the psychologist ng and i'll reply to you leave topics you think we should uh, discuss and explore in the comment section or you can check out my instagram or facebook page at the psychologist guys i need this to grow i need us to have a wider reach so please subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this we are going to make it better subscribe to this channel let's work together to keep the populace informed and uh, to keep you know our lives better subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notification button so when there's a new video you get notified it's been a nice time out here please let me know some people say i speak too fast are you comfortable with my you know speed or you want me to slow down a bit let me know let me know what you think about this video if you learned something let me know it's been a beautiful day out here with you and until we meet again next week ciao